Hello folks, this is Mike DeBruzzo from K91 Specialized Dog Training and I'm here with Dixie. She's a, a rescue from, from Georgia, from a kill shelter. She's a puppy. She's about four months old, you know, between four and five months of age. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate puppy massage to you. Puppy massage is an important thing to do um, with the young puppy because what it does is it helps them um, to be more easily handled as they grow into an adult. What we're going to do mainly is to teach her to trust us when we're, when we're touching her, particularly if it's things that make dogs uncomfortable. Like a lot of dogs don't really like us going into their mouth, looking into their ears, messing with their toes, and all, all that kind of stuff. So I like to do this from two different angles. One, I like to teach her that if she struggles, that it's not really going to work and it actually just prolongs the process, but also I like to teach her by not struggling that it's really good and it could be a positive thing. So I'll show you what, you know, what I mean. The way to start this is what I want to do is I want to put her on her back in between my legs. And the best way to do this is I position the dog away from me, the puppy away from me, and what I do is I take my knees and kind of just gently hug her hips with my knees and then I pivot her on her hips onto her back like that. And now I have her in between my legs. When she struggles, I don't yell at her, I don't go eh, eh anything like that. All I do is just gently put a little bit of pressure with my legs and my hands and then I relax again when she stops struggling. She struggles, a little bit of gentle pressure. When she stops struggling, good girl. You know, I, I put less pressure too. You're not trying to crush the dog here. You know, you're just putting a little bit of you know, nice, secure, you know, secure hold on the dog so she knows by struggling, my hold just gets a little bit, a little bit tighter. Um, this is important because you want them to learn this now um, instead of older because this will make it more, less likely they'll struggle when the veterinarian has to do things or if you have to do something to them. By them learning to relax, it's actually the quickest way, okay, good girl, for her to be free, all right? Good girl, you doing good, Dixie. Yes, you are. So that's one part of the exercise. If they're doing good with that part of the exercise, the next thing that you could do is start adding um, you know, some positive reinforcement for us actually um, starting to touch her on different parts of her body that might be un uncomfortable to her. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'll put her back in the position. Again, I'll put her my knees. I spank, oh girl. I'm gonna talk to her, that's a good girl, mama. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some goodies that I have over here, make them so they're within easy reach. And what I use is the word easy. What I'll do is I'll first say the word easy, then I'll do something that she might not like, and then right after I touch her, I'll give her, I'll give her the treat. So it goes in this order. I say easy, I'll touch her paw, good girl, and I give her a treat. The order is very important. She's going to learn, I hear this word easy, something happens that I don't necessarily love, but then I get a reward for it. It's not so bad. So I'll say easy, touch your paw, good girl, give her the treat. Easy, touch, good girl, give, give the treat. Um, I'll say easy, good girl, touch her gum, give her, give her the treat. I'll say easy, put my finger in her ear, good girl. Give her the treat. So it's lots of uh, very, very easy things in the beginning with her. Easy. Good girl. Nothing too invasive for her. Good girl. And if she's doing good with this, I could touch her a little bit longer. Like I could say easy. Look at her gums a little bit longer. Good girl. Wait for her not to struggle. Good girl. She gets, she gets, she gets the treat. So it's a very easy exercise. Girl, Dixie. Uh, I recommend doing this, you know, with young. I mean, ideally, the younger you start this, you know, the better with with a puppy. Ideally, before 16 weeks of age is the best time to start. Um, but um, it, it it really does make a big difference for setting the pace with your dog. So as they, you know, as they start to grow, we could start getting ready to do things like clip their nails or clean their ears or stuff like that. You know, after we do these really easy things to her, next I might mess with her, for instance, her toenail, uh, a little bit longer. Easy. And like, look at her toenail. Good girl. You know, within a couple of sessions, if her toenail is long enough, I might clip one toenail. 
And then maybe the, you know, every time I do it, I'll just, I'll just do, um, good girl, good girl, okay. I might do, um, you know, then I might, uh, um, you know, start looking at her teeth a little bit more. So if you wanted to brush your dog's teeth, if you want to clip their nails, you want to, you know, anything you really want to do that might be difficult for the dog, you get them primed as a puppy, and then you're really going to appreciate it when they get older. When they get older and you have to, uh, you have to bring them to, to the veterinarian. So I recommend doing this at least twice a day with puppies. Ideally start between, you know, before 16 weeks of age, as early as you get them, but it's really never too late to, you know, to start as long as you're able to do this exercise. If the puppy's too big and you really can't easily, you know, win with the exercise, there's mod there, you have to do some sort of, you know, some sort of modified way, which would be um, a subject for a different training video. So, it's puppy massage, canine one style, and this is Dixie.